Hi, it's me Taylor. Welcome back to my channel. It has been a while since I did a workout video on here and I've changed things up a little bit recently. I've been into shorter but just as effective workouts that work many muscles because of things like balance and resistance and gravity. So the workout you're about to see today and hopefully try uh, has really toned me up very quickly by adding a little extra oomph and challenge to it without adding any extra time. All you really need is a wall, you can find one inside your home or outside your home and if you have a mat you can lay it down, if not a towel or a blanket will work just fine. Let's get to it! Alright, find your wall and then set up. This workout is going to be 5 minutes with 10 second breaks in between each exercise. Start by laying on your back with your legs straight up and your ankles against the wall. Then slowly lift your hips up, sliding your legs up on the wall and raise them all the way up and then lower back down. Make sure you're really squeezing your muscles during this whole thing. It's going to be working your abs, your glutes, your back, your hamstrings and just your overall core. Do it really slow and controlled while breathing out when lifting up and breathing in while lifting down. Then flip yourself over into a plank with your legs up on the wall and begin doing mountain climbers. Your legs are just gonna wanna whip right out so you really gotta try and control them and slow them down to just bring them in towards your stomach, really squeeze your core and your abs here. This one's also working your arms and your shoulders at the same time. All of the exercises today really focus on having a lot of control. Because these exercises force you to stabilize yourself, you're going to be working so many tiny muscles that you wouldn't normally. Okay, flip over again, bend your legs to tabletop, placing your feet flat on the wall and you're going to do crunches. Squeezing your abs and breathing out as you crunch up and then breathing in as you go down. This move is focusing on our upper abs, giving us that nice definition there, but since our legs are lifted, we're also engaging in our lower abs. Flip over again, this time in a downward dog-like position with your legs up on the wall and then slowly lower your leg in a crisscross motion, angling it towards the opposite side. This time we're really working our arms, shoulders, pretty much all of our abs, especially the lower abs and the obliques with the twisting and our thighs since we are squeezing them, right? Also, since you're trying to stabilize yourself onto the wall, you should feel it a bit in your quadriceps. Sitting down with your back against the wall and your butt as close to the wall as possible, raise up your legs and keep them there. This exercise looks so easy, but it's the most difficult one out of this whole routine. It's, it's really so much harder than it looks and it really, really engages in your lower abs and just those really deep core muscles. If you want to take this to the next level and make it even more difficult, you can straighten out your legs and try to lift them even higher. The straighter and the higher they are, the more your abs are working. All right, just a little longer squeeze. Hold it, hold it. We're about halfway done, guys. You can do it. Let's keep going. Next move. Moving on to our upper abs again with your legs straight up against the wall and your bum as close to the wall as possible. You're going to lift up and touch your hand to the opposite side's foot. Go up as high as you can, but make sure you're doing so using your abs, not your neck or your back or anything like that. So if you can't go up that high, but you're using your abs, it's better than going up high, but straining your neck or your back or other muscles. Next, get in side plank position with your feet against the wall and you're gonna slowly lower and raise your body. 
Having your feet stacked like this gives more of a challenge. This move is working the obliques and to get the maximum effect you want to really squeeze and raise it as high as you can on the way up. And when you lower down, just go a couple of inches above the ground, not all the way down, and then come back up to start. Alright, good job. Now let's flip over and do it again on the other side. Make sure that your forearm is directly below your shoulder when you're doing these and that your body is in one line from head to toe. Besides the oblique muscles, which are the most obvious, side planks are also working your glutes because your side and back hip muscles are actually working to help stabilize your hips while you're doing this move. If you're doing it correctly and your body is in one line. So again, posture and doing things very slow and controlled and doing less reps is more important than doing a lot of reps with really bad un uncontrolled uh, techniques. All right, second last move, lay down on your back again, legs up, we're doing another bridge, but this time we're doing reverse mountain climbers. So you're gonna bring your legs, sliding them downwards on the wall, kind of like you're running um, towards your abs. This works so many muscles to help you to keep yourself stabilized and up. Honestly, all of my abs burn during this. It works my lower abs so effectively, but then I can still really feel it in my upper abs and just everywhere in the really deep muscles in my back, in my sides. It's a great move. And the final exercise is V-ups. Lie against the wall with your butt against the wall, your legs straight up against the wall, open them and then crunch up. Try and get as high up as possible. Lift up as you breathe out and try to get your palms to touch flat against the wall and then breathe in as you lower down. Again, use your abs to do this. Do not strain your neck. Lift your arms over your head for a little stretch and to help lengthen and have a bigger range of motion. Keep going, we're almost done, just 10 seconds left. And we're done, good job. Okay, first thing, don't wear a hat when you do this because it's just not necessary and it's gonna get in the way. Two, as you can see, this workout is quite quick but it's super effective because it targets so many large and small muscles the whole time you're doing it. So you're working so many things at once and with the added effect of the gravity, you have more resistance and it just builds your muscles quicker. So give this one a try. Let me know how you like it and let me know if you want more of these kinds of videos. See you guys next time.